plaintiff, Jana Metko, was friends with the defendant, and Jana lived with her for a short time. But she's suing because she claims after she started dating the defendant's ex, the defendant put Jana's property in a parking lot. Defendant Charity Gerard says Jana is a liar who pretended to be her friend, all while hanging out with her ex-boyfriend behind her back. She's countersuing for unpaid rent and car expenses. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. I met the defendant about three years ago. We didn't start talking until March. At that time, I was looking to move out and I was hanging out with Charity and her family for a bit. Her family offered to have me move in with them at the end of April. So I moved in with them and everything was great. We had a great relationship. Everything was perfect. Around that time, I was hanging out with her ex-boyfriend who was my friend prior to even meeting Charity in the first place. Um, in June, the, her ex-boyfriend confessed feelings for myself, so I brought it up to the defendant. It's the right thing to do, you know, best friend. When uh, did they stop dating? Uh, like two years ago. Oh, okay. It was a while ago. Mm -hmm. um, so I brought it up to her. She was not happy with it, so I backed off of it. The same day... Really? That's a good friend. Go ahead. The same day, actually, after... Okay. Our conversation she came up to me again and told me that it was all right that i could do what i want i didn't know what i wanted i it was news to me um did you start I, dating not at that okay. time at the not at that time not at that time go ahead um i thought we had worked through everything that everything was behind us um i was still living at her house worked through everything as the relating to what yeah the ex-boyfriend there was never anything to work through. You asked her and she said she'd prefer you not. Then she came back to you and said, it's cool. What is there to work out? There yeah, doesn't sound like there was any controversy other than that one day. See, that's what I thought too. Okay. Um, <laughs> at this time, I was also patching things up with my family because mm -hmm. family is important. Um, July 4th, uh, my mother actually had a 4th of July party and invited myself and all my friends. The defendant was one of them that had come and she was having fun. It seemed like she was smiling, laughing. Um, there was nothing said about moving out from her house. There was nothing said about my belongings there. The next day, July 5th the, at nighttime, 3 a.m., I received a Snapchat from the defendant, um, a picture of all my belongings at the top of the Appleton parking ramp saying that anyone could come and grab it, that it was up for grabs free to anyone if anyone wanted to go grab it. Why do you think that was? Why did she get upset with you? I have no idea. I okay, also... she'll tell me in a minute. Let me hear from you. Um, Give me so... some background on the case and then uh, why you contacted her about her property. And for some reason, she hadn't asked you and she has no idea. Go ahead, I'll let you begin with uh, perhaps the relationship, your friendship early on. Jenna pretended to be my friend and she was lying to me. About what? Uh, she was lying to me about being her friend and she basically told me that her parents were going to kick her out when she turned 18. So um, my mom and I talked and let her stay at our house. Um, she originally added me to a group chat on Snapchat to play Truth or Dare and then we started hanging out and our friendship was really good. Um, and then as it progressed, she started picking fights with me all the time and lying and- she, Why do you think that was? I'm not really sure. Okay, you never asked either why you pick <laughs> fights with me all the time. Go ahead, I see why this friendship ended. Yeah. You all could have misinterpreted everything that was done because you never even asked why. If my friend crossed me, I'm asking why he did it before I break up the friendship. I'm saying, man, why you do me like that? But y'all just, ha ha ha. <laughs> I think this friendship is over. Okay. <laughs> All right. So tell me how you uh, proceeded to act with the uh, friendship, uh, with the boyfriend question, if that happened, or the ex-boyfriend question. Was that an issue? So she told me that she actually met somebody while she, right after work, and she had been hanging out with them. Um, but I later found out that that person wasn't actually real 
and that she was actually hanging with my ex-boyfriend and lying to me about it. Your Honor, that's not okay, true. She had never come to you to admit and to ask if it was all right. She did ask me if it was okay. And she did? Yes. If um, she hanging out with my ex-boyfriend and getting with him afterwards was okay. And I told her that it was okay. And so... So how does she lie to you about it? How? Uh, she had she been doing it way before and they had been together before Your Honor, that. he's my best friend. Okay, why do you think she got religion and decided to ask you after all that time? So she came to me and she asked... I know. Why? If she had been doing it and lying to you about it all that time, what gave her religion to now want to come to you and confess? I'm not sure. Okay, didn't ask that either. All right. Tell me what you're suing her about on this damaged and missing yes. property, ma'am. I actually have a picture from the defendant that she sent me. That was the 3 a.m. thing, if you want to see it. Um, yeah, what page? Uh, page 20. This was a Snapchat from her. It's a beautiful picture. At 3 a.m. saying, get out. And then, uh, and you ha no, didn't ask her didn't why. say, get out. She told... So she the, never asked you to move out. She ne not once. It was never said, never talked about. This was out of the blue. We were hanging okay. out the night before. And you don't know why she did it, no of idea. course. Mm -hmm. The boy thing was weeks ago. And what property was damaged? Did you go and retrieve it or try to? And if so, how long after this did you go and try and retrieve your property? Immedi how long after she told people to come and get it? Immediately after, I went into my parents' room because I was staying at you their house. You went where? Into my parents' room. I was staying at their house uh -huh. that night. Um, I told them about the pick. My mother called the cops. Um, notified them about what had happened. We immediately went to go retrieve my belongings. I had noticed that the boxes were broken, things were missing, and it was all covered in urine, which doesn't surprise me when one of her friends has a drinking problem and is known to do that. Um, the next morning, I, my mother and myself drove out to where her house is in Wapaka County. We filed a police report, which is also part of this. What page? Page nine. It mm -hmm. starts on page eight, but it goes till 10. Go ahead. Um, so we filled out a police report. I also have an itemized list of everything that was what damaged. What page is that? Missing. Property crime, non-consent form. On page four is the list. Four and is then, your list. And what am I to look for on the statement from the police? Um, uh, paragraph several paragraphs. Five. Pardon? Paragraph five is where she admits to okay, taking it out of the Why don't you read it to me? Yes, sir. I have it here. Um, Charity stated that she had a falling out with Jana and admitted to taking her belongings and dropping them off in Appleton. Charity stated that she dropped off the property and texted Jana telling her to pick them up. Uh, what happened with her property? Let me hear from you. Um, I packed up her things with mm. the boxes that she had in her room and then I dropped them off at her work and let her know right away. Um, the story that she's talking about was a private story with only her on it. Okay, and why did you put her things out or take her thing, move her things out the house? Because I didn't want her in my house anymore. Okay, and how long had you lived there? Uh, three to four months. So three okay, months. you have been there three to four months with all your, as a resident, yes. with your property there. So that would be considered an illegal eviction. Uh, if she stayed there three months with her property there. Okay, you don't want to talk. Uh, you're missing property. That's part of that as well? Yes, sir. All right. What's your counterclaim for? 1800 for unpaid rent and car expenses. How does she owe you? Um, she did not pay rent while she was there. And okay. what was the agreement? There was none. Okay, then she doesn't owe you. <laughs> if she didn't agree to pay you, she don't owe you. What else? Um, and then she also used my car while she was staying at my house. And you want money for it? Yes. What did you all agree to? Uh, we didn't agree to that either. Okay, well, you can't get a debt paid unless there is a debt. And a debt accumulates when you agree to pay. She never agreed to pay you? No. Okay, well, I can't grant you a judgment for something that wasn't agreed unless she just wants to pay you. You want to pay her? No. Okay. 
There was never an agreement, so there's no debt. With regard to the $2,043 uh, for your property, once you commit the illegal act of evicting her, illegal eviction, you're responsible for everything that happened to her items. It was an illegal eviction because she would be considered a resident. You would have to go to landlord tenant court and get a judge's order to remove her things. That's the only way. Many people don't know that, but you can't move people's things who have lived with you typically about over 30 days because they're able to claim residency. I live here. I've been living here for 90 days. Judgment for the plane of $2,043. Your claim is dismissed. There was never any agreement to pay you the things that you're suing for. Have a good day. So glad it's over. I'm with Colton now.